Hello everyone, welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Pisces for the week of February 20th through the 26th of 2023. And I would also like to give special thanks to those of you who have subscribed to my channel, as well as given it a thumbs up and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. Ooh, nice. Nine of cup. Wish fulfillment. Way to start your week. So what have you been wishing for? What have you been hoping for for a while? You may get it this week. Good times, good creative ideas, good love, good friends. You know, you're rejoicing for all it's worth, which is wonderful to see. Some wish fulfillment. Ooh, making a decision now, all up in your head about it. You know, nine of swords. Maybe you've had to you know, really think about what you're doing. Maybe you said something to somebody, maybe at work, maybe you've done something, you know, you didn't mean to, but, you know, you may have made yourself a glitch in your life, you know, but it's making you toss and turn at night here this week. Something that's happened in the past for some of you. Maybe something you said and now you're regretting that you said or Maybe they took it the wrong way and you never had intent of that, you know, meaning it that way, that sort of thing. But now you're contemplating in your head how to go about uh, fixing this. So you're, you know, spending a lot of sleepless nights, but you have to, you know, take care of yourself here and your health. So, you know, you're going to deal with it because you know you have to, you know, whether it's apologizing or admitting in some cases but so that you get peace of mind for yourself and the queen of cups so there you are you know something in your life you're making real you're making a decision for some of you this this could be even in the romance sector of your life some sort of you know um you're following your intuition you're feeling more I don't want to use the word psychic powers, but you're, you know, you're understanding that when you have those aha moments and that sort of thing, that they're there to guide you and you're starting to learn to follow your intuition a little bit better. And the fool, so you're starting over. New, fresh ideas, you know, you're taking that leap of flight faith in something in your life that you've wanted to do for some of you. You know, you, you're uh, no longer questioning yourself. You're not holding yourself back this week. You're just going to just do it because you feel it's the right thing to do for yourself. You're trusting in yourself a little bit more. You're also making sure that, you know, your life is going smoothly. You're making sure your bills are paid and, you know, maybe you've, you know, tried not to overspend yourself but you're okay that way you, you're not you're not holding yourself back that you're moving forward you're really taking that leap of faith in some new beginning in your life and the queen of rods so definitely you know if you're successful you know you're acting on your more or less your impulses and they're paying off you know, they're, they're going the right way, the way you want them to. You know, perhaps this is you even thinking of if you're not a manager, becoming a manager in a job, if it's a job that you're, you know, pursuing. But you're, you're very flexible. You have a mindset. You realize what you want to have in your life and who you want to have in your life. And now you're pursuing it. You're taking that leap of faith towards, you know, your ambitions this week. And the Ace of Pentacles. So there you are. You got luck on your side. Tangible goods, money coming in, material gains. You know, you're starting to take care of yourself a little bit better as for some of you as well. Maybe, you you know, over the winter months, you didn't take as good health care of yourself. And this is your beginning of your new turnaround for this coming year for some of you. 
you know, you're just moving along, you have the job that you always, you know, wanted, you're reaching out to people to talk to them, things are just starting to come around the way you want them to, you're feeling more optimistic about the future for yourself, and the magician, and there it is, and almost like by magic, you know, any difficult challenges you were having or feeling, they're gone, just like by magic. You know, you put your mind towards something and you're focused on it and you're moving forward in that direction because it's what you want. You know, you're you're following your intuitions, your hunches, your impulses, and you're realizing that the reason why you're so driven is because it's something that you've always wanted. You're heading for that, you know, golden ring. And... The Eight of Swords. So there you are. You know, you've been putting this decision off for a long time. You know, it's held you back. You didn't want to really move or create any waves. So you've been restraining yourself almost by doing that. You know, you've held yourself back for so long because you're were afraid to take the blindfolds off and realize that you have to make a decision in the right direction for yourself because you've been holding yourself back. You've been allowing this to happen to yourself and you're accepting that this is what's how it's going to go and this is what I got to do. But in the end, it will go the way I want it to. So this is the week you make that big decision and the six of pentacles. So there you go. You have enough. You're comfortable within yourself. You want to help other people. It's what you do naturally. It's the way you are. It's who you are. You know, you want the whole world to be content and, and succeed. And you're willing to help people. It's just in your nature to do that. You know, you've learned lessons in your life, but you're okay with that because the questions that you got to those things in your life are all right as well. They turned out in your favor, that sort of thing. You know, you think of that you have nothing to give somebody or offer something and you have tons to offer. You have loads of, you know, intuition and you have loads of um, knowledge, lots of knowledge. You're very smart that way. And the Queen of Swords. So there you are. You know, you're developing courage. This has taken a lot of courage for you this week to take that leap of faith what you want take the blindfolds off set yourself free so that you're moving for yourself and you realize that and it's it's really taking you a lot of effort to take this step and the eight of rods so there it is you know just out of the middle of nowhere you get this invitation people are stopping by you know giving you a pat on the back that sort of thing you're moving forward you didn't think you could or would but you are you know, it's like opportunities are plunking down in your lap, you know, uh, anytime now. It's going to come in unexpectedly. It's going to, you know, just be like a flash. People are going to pop at your door. You're going to have, you know, some good times and, and maybe they're inviting you over for dinner, that sort of thing. But when you do it, you're going to be happy. It's like, it's there and wow, did I ever have the best week in a long time? That sort of answer. And the sun, so very nice. You know, everything's going your way. You're feeling more optimistic now that you've dealt with the things that you've been putting off for quite some time. You know, you're starting to have um, better perspective for your future going forward. You're not questioning your actions anymore. You know, you're just lighting on the inside as well as the outside. You're having more, you're feeling more positive with yourself this week. You're not shying away with you know, you didn't want to deal with. <laughs> and the two of swords. So there you are, sitting there. You know, you've been sitting there for a long time, trying not to make any hasty decisions, trying not to upset anybody. You know, you, you're just forever trying to please the world. And this is the week that you're going to, you know, Make that decision for yourself, something that speaks to your heart. You're no longer going to set yourself on the back burner because you're realizing time's only continuing to carry on. And you're realizing that this, this is, you know, perhaps in some cases not the path that you want to be on. So 
you're going to take the blindfolds off, put the swords down and actually step to a position that you want to go to instead of waiting for them to drop. All right, I am going to pick and shuffle you an Angel Oracle card. Well, you've got some big decisions coming at you this week, you know, but you're feeling optimistic about it. You're, you know, you got a smile on your face as you're going. You're starting to realize that, you know, this decision that I do have enough at the end. I don't have to keep worrying about all this stuff. So you can lay those burdens down. All right. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watching or watched over by angels. Oh, isn't that beautiful? All right, Pisces. On that note, I will say goodbye for now. And I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.